everyone and welcome to Miss Temple's apartment. Yay! So today we are on our third project for Frida Kahlo and I am so excited about this one because it is a picture of her parrot Bonito eating some fruit which was inspired by one of her paintings of a parrot with fruit. Um, I'm gonna get myself set up. What you need is um, some crayons or markers. I used the slick sticks from Crayola, but um, you can use whatever you would like. You need a piece of paper and maybe a marker if you want to go over your lines. Um, I'm gonna get myself set up and I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so I am all set up. I have my white paper, I have my pencil, a Sharpie marker, and I'm gonna use my slick sticks from Crayola again because um, they are super cool and fun. Um, they are gel crayons. Um, and you can get them on Amazon, I believe. Um, okay, so um, as we know, Frida Kahlo really liked animals, um, but one animal that she liked in particular was her pet parrot named Bonito, which in Spanish means handsome. So we're gonna draw a picture of Bonito. Um, and she did a still life. It was just called Still Life with a Parrot and Fruit. Um, and um, it was made in 1951. And so we're gonna make a picture of a parrot with fruit. So the first thing we're gonna start with is a line in the middle. And we're gonna add our parrot last because we wanna fit all the fruit in. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a line that's not all the way to the side, not all the way to this side, but it's gonna be pretty large. We're gonna make this just a little bit smaller. Today I don't have my eraser. I don't know what happened to it. Do you see? <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna turn that into a slice of watermelon. So I'm making a U shape underneath. We're gonna make another U inside, and then we're gonna make one more U inside. So it's turning into an upside down rainbow. So now we'll have the white part, the green part, and the pink part, and we can put some seeds in. So what for a seed, what I do is I make, like I'm making a, a teardrop or, a, or half of a heart. I start here, curve it around, and go to the top. I'm gonna put five seeds. Okay, looks good. Now, our watermelon is finished. Next up, we're gonna make an apple. Now we want our apple to look like it's behind our watermelon. So we're gonna start with our curvy M shape that you should remember from doing our, um, our work over in the fall, fall week. I'm gonna make that curvy M, and then I'm gonna make the curvy W on the bottom. But see how it looks like it's behind my watermelon. I'm gonna give a stem. And if you wanna add a leaf, you can. I'm not going to. Now, I'm gonna make my horizon line, which is gonna be our table that we're sitting on. And I'm gonna make a pineapple. Um, pineapples are kind of hard. So we're gonna start with an oval. It's gonna be behind our watermelon. And we're gonna make circles on it. Inside these circles, I'm gonna make little, two little lines.
Okay. Now, because I don't have my eraser, which is okay, um, we're just not going to worry about those two lines. Now, next up, I'm going to make curved banana-like shapes. This are the leaves. These are the leaves of our pineapple. And you can choose to make them a little bit smaller up here. Perfect. Next up, you know what? I'm actually gonna make a few more seeds in here. There we go, I think that looks better. Okay, we're gonna make one more fruit and then we will make our um, parrot. So I'm actually gonna put a fruit in front of everything. And we're gonna make it a pear that's on its side. So it's a circle shape with another circle shape smaller. And then you connect them together. On the bottom of our pair, we've got a little hole there. And then we're going to make the stem. Now, when I think of pears, I think that they are green, but you can make your pair whatever color you want. And now we're going to go in for our um, parrot. I'm going to start with a little circle in between my pineapple and my apple. Next up, I'm gonna make a straight line that goes from here to our apple. So it's gonna kind of look like a lollipop now. Okay. Now we're gonna make a curved line that connects to our watermelon. Next up, we're gonna make the letter C that's gonna connect from our watermelon just below that straight line. And you're gonna make the same shape on the other side. Now, we've got his two wings, his chest, his back, and his head. So we're gonna start by making an, um, an almond shape and that's gonna be where his eye is. Same shape as our seeds. And you're gonna put a second smaller one inside. That'll be his eye. Now, here's the hard part. We're gonna make his beak. We want his beak to come out here. So we're gonna make a curved, like a moon. But it's a curved V shape. We're gonna cut it like that. And then around it, we're gonna make a rainbow shape. Make this a little bit more circular. Okay, now inside of here, we're gonna make the letter U and that's gonna look like feathers. beautiful. Now I'm going to give a little feather on the top and now you only see one side of his eyeball because the other side isn't being shown. Okay I'm going to give him a little design here and I think that's pretty good. Okay I'm going to go over this in sharpie marker and then I'm going to erase my pencil lines with a erase an eraser and um, then I'm gonna color it in with my color sticks and um, I'll see you in a sec. I'm excited to color this in. See you in a sec.
Okay, and that is how you draw a still life with a parrot, or otherwise known as Bonito, of Frida Kahlo, by Frida Kahlo. Um, I hope you had a good time. I can't wait to see what you made. Send them to me at htemple@schools.nyc.gov. You can tag me on Instagram at Miss Temple's Apartment, or you can just order them to me. I can't wait to see what you made. Hope you had a good time. See you later.